Hello everybody and welcome back to the Silicon Nubian YouTube channel where we do all things tech. As an ongoing series leading up to the video I'll be posting shortly of my AMD Ryzen 1700 CPU based build, I'd like to unbox another component, the video card. If you've been keeping up with the channel, uh, one of my most previous videos was the unboxing and the overview of the motherboard, which is the ASRock AB350 Pro 4. Today we're going to have a look at the video card that's going to go into the build. This is the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX580. This is the 8GB model. And uh, this is one of the overclock variants which has a boost clock of 1411 MHz. 1.411 GHz. And uh, it's a wonderful card for many reasons. I really agonize over the choice of components. And given that so much of the uh, 480s and 580s are fairly close in spec, I went for the Sapphire for a few reasons. One was I like quiet systems and um, my understanding is this card is very quiet. It has very elegant lighting, which I like as well. I'm not much into the uh, glowing computer, as it were, with all the RGB stuff going around, although a small splash of RGB never hurt anybody in lighting. Uh, as well, Sapphire is known to be one of the best companies or one of the better companies in terms of uh, producing um, AMD uh, GPU-based hardware. So let's take a quick look. We'll look on the outside. Uh, very nice box. 8 gig GD GDDR5. It's an overclocked version. As, again, we, as I've stated, the boost clock is 1411 MHz. RX 580, DirectX 12, Vulkan support, chill support. Uh, this, uh, if you look on YouTube at other videos, this is outside the scope of this video, but AMD Chill Support, which allows you basically to keep your GPU cooler uh, by adjusting certain parameters with respect to maximum FPS allowed and whatnot. Uh, FreeSync 2, as I will be putting together this system, uh, hopefully with a FreeSync monitor, FreeSync-based monitor, uh, Relive Capture, which is their capture software, uh, Dual-X fan design, fan safe, intelligent fan control, precision fan control. If turn the box over, like the wraparound graphic on the back, uh, product specs, GPU Radeon RX 580, memory bus 256-bit, has um, display port by 2, HDMI by 2, and one DVI port, so all your bases are very covered. Um, HDR ready, 3rd gen FinFET 14 nanometer, I believe, Radeon FreeSync 2 Tech, Radeon Chill, DirectX 12 optimized. Important, DirectX 12 optimized. If you look at a lot of the reviews, in particular the, this range against the NVIDIA uh, 1060 range, you notice that when uh, DirectX 12 games are used, generally speaking, the Radeon RX 480 and 580s come out on top. Uh, that's for another argument or video. Uh, so let's keep looking. Virtual resolution support, crossfire tech support, and open CL support. And uh, all in all, pretty basic box. Uh, we're going to open it and look what's inside. Now, get into a few aspects of why I chose an RX 580. Many people will say that um, the RX 580 is not much or enough different from an RX 480, why would AMD do this and just do a refresh? Well, let me tell you who the RX 580 is for, the 5 series, whether it's the 580, 570, and or whichever. If you already have a high-end AMD GPU, an RX 580, sorry, a 480, or R9, 390X, um, one of those type of cards, this may not be the upgrade that's best for you. Okay? For a person like me who's coming from an R9 280X, this is a fantastic upgrade. The price is right. The cost of this card was 350 Canadian. And uh, I just checked today and it's out of stock, so they're moving them quite fast. Um, I chose the 580, even though the 40 is available, because, well, Given the price, which is pretty much equivalent to a 480, I might as well choose the latest tech. So I got this. Once again, I'm coming from an R9 280X, so this is a 
quantum leap in terms of performance. If you have a higher end uh, card, whether it's an NVIDIA based or AMD based, well, you might want to wait for Vega. So here we go. Open up the box. Get my AMD Ryzen 7 box out of the way. Seems like it's fairly well protected. Got the foam. Get rid of this. I have the driver disc, which I pretty much never use. I always download the latest from whichever company supplied the GPU, whether it's NVIDIA or AMD. But I might have some uh, utilities in there. I'll look at it as well. It's not just drivers these days. Uh, just the contact information for Sapphire. Book it in a different language, installation guide. And here we have Sapphire product registration, which I'll probably do online. Well, it's telling you to do it online. And here we have the card. Wow. Beautiful looking card. Uh, looks like 92 millimeter fans. I may be wrong. Dual. Very nice. Oh, wow. I don't believe this model has the removable fans. There is a limited edition of this. This is just one step below the limited. Uh, I didn't see any performance gains going from the limited to this although the removable fans would have been nice but uh, still this was my choice so let's remove the card there's nothing else in the box so we'll move the box and we'll take a much closer look at the card so here we have it the video card it's, uh, it's pretty hefty I gotta tell you um, if you look you'll notice lots of uh, heatsink fins underneath fans move fairly uh, freely here with the sapphire sign which I believe lights up in a blue color if I'm not mistaken we have the heat pipes beautiful backplate look at that Look at that backplate. Really nice. Very nice. And uh, it's gonna stick. It's gonna stick in like this. So I have LED lighting coming from the top. It's gonna bounce off of this and really look fantastic. We have an eight-pin plus a six-pin power connector. Uh, one thing that uh, AMD did drop, did drop the ball on on the 5X series is their power usage considerably higher than their uh, NVIDIA counterparts but personally if you're serious about uh, computer performance and whatnot uh, it's not over the top and you're not really worried about that anyways if you could see this I don't know if you could see the box behind which I'll be unboxing soon that's my power supply that'll be more than enough to handle whatever I put in this system so we have the two heat sinks again it's pretty uh, heavy PCIe connector. We'll see that it's designed to exhaust a lot of the air, hopefully. It looks like it is. To the rear of the outside the PC, which I'm hoping it does. Here we have the DVI, two display port, two HDMI port, which for modern setups seems to be perfect. All your bases are covered. DVB is dead in my opinion very very nice so that's the card once again get you a closer look see the 8 pin and the 6 pin connector pretty substantial heat pipes the whole cooler itself is very substantial and this wonderful black backplate backplate is really nice feels like it's solid aluminum or some kind of metal very 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 nice so that's my choice of video card, the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580, 8 gig, gigabyte of GDDR5 video, video memory. And I'm going to have a great time putting this in the system build. Um, presently, the system build has reached the point where um, it's just about putting in the power supply, the video card, and then I can proceed to the first turn on. So <clears throat> we're getting really close, folks. 
So I just wanted to give you a quick overview, a quick unboxing of the video card that's going into the system. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Uh, if you want to see an unboxing of the G EVGA Supernova G3, I'd be happy to do that as well. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.